all right uh good morning everyone once again so let's start uh, welcome to today's u2j stand up i hope you're all doing well as always so this is our chance to catch up on everyone's progress address any technical challenges you might be facing and share any important up updates maybe uh so i think we can start here yeah. let's start with a quick round of updates from each of you maybe before that we can just uh see what happened last week and go through the schedule not last week let's just go with the schedule week eight so we are week eight and today after stand up of course going through the schedule after stand up you have community building sessions we be more of checking on each other and so so on then after that tutorial challenge introduction then uh, tutorial one day one uh, it's going to be creating job descriptions and then after that we're gonna have independent challenge work here yeah. so it's monday i'll be hoping uh, to hear from you guys i'll be hoping to you know for you to speak to share in the chat box how is the progress what are you looking after this week what's the goal for you this week everything like that yeah so let's share uh if you're ready if you want to go fast you can raise a hand then we're gonna follow the queue but we are not that many people i think everyone is going going to share maybe i can just go one by one but if you're unable to speak we understand that you can share in the chat box yeah mm -hmm. so i think you can start who's ready Okay, so far we have Givere. Anyone else want to follow? You share the progress. Uh, if there's any challenge, you can address the challenge, maybe, or any, any problem or any technical challenge. Then after that, you're going to share, like, how you're looking forward this week. If there's any feedback so far, you can share, then that will be it. Yeah. So let's follow the queue. Uh, we have Givere in the open queue. Givere, you can go ahead. Okay, hello, good morning. Uh, I hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, okay, mine is just a more of a comment uh, concerning last week's challenge. Uh, I realized uh, that maybe I know nothing to do with uh, with this with this with this Google Luca Studio. Yeah, so uh, I would like to emphasize eh, that we get a lot of practice eh, as much as uh, Google Luca Studio is concerned because why the stuff? Okay, it's tough. It's tough, but okay, I was able to submit my, my challenge, but uh, I was not that satisfied with my work. <laughs> Okay, maybe ready to get to share something on that. Who delivered the session? On Google Luca Studio. Yes. I, uh, I think Carol, it was Carol. I'm not sure. Uh, so what, yeah, specifically, what's the, the problem? Like, what's your, your, your challenge? It's hard and... Uh, okay. Okay, one, one challenge that I'm facing uh, is being able to maybe uh, define what is supposed to, to appear on the y-axis, what is supposed to appear on the x-axis of the charts. Like, it's more of a guesswork for me. Okay, it worked, but if I'm told to repeat uh, the same thing, I might take a whole day. It's more of a mm. guesswork. <laughs> mm. So, um, do you suggest maybe Kiro would hear more lights on that maybe after on slack or something or maybe if you can approach him personally on slack yeah i, I can do approaching yeah you want to ask something yeah, from maybe yes. oh, i'm sorry yeah, yeah okay to say something about this maybe if there's anyone or other people who had faced the same problem in google studio maybe you can share and we can do some like while including uh, while having some sessions afterwards we will try to uh, conduct them, uh, prepare a Google Studio part two sessions or things like that. So let's see if any other people, uh, if you get challenged doing the 
working with Google Studio. Yeah, Habib. Yeah, hello. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Habib. Yeah, so um, thank you so far for the opportunity to learn. But I think mine is more of like a suggestion. I think it will be it will be more um how do I say it? It will make more sense if the tasks are like consistent. Like uh I think maybe the first or second week we had something to do with uh Google Studio. Mm -hmm. Then this last week we had something to do on a uh, Google Studio also. So I'm thinking maybe for subsequent tasks or the next course if it's possible for us to have maybe the first four week or four weeks on maybe data analysis and uh, visualization so that we'll get to use the packages more often before we now move into something else because for me now it was more like uh, i had to repeat uh, the videos i watched in order to do the task two assignments all over again before I could do this one. So if it's something that is continuous, that means I will be able to learn faster. Okay. It's a really good comment. I somehow it's been consistent in my opinion, somehow, but I get you like if you're you just see it or check for that kind of course, Google Studio on Google Studio on the first to on the second week or something and now we're back but it would be really uh, would be nice if you can gather i mean there might be some concepts that are going to be mentioned only once and they're not going to be continued so it's going to be a very nice thing if you can do with those tools or things at any time okay if you have integrated uh, yourself with that i mean if you understand those tools very well it's not going to be difficult to um to use them again after like men and things like that so that's the plan of this uh, the program you need to be familiar with the tools at any time that you need to use them again for the future that means so it's going to be very great to uh, adapt to, or be familiar with those tools within one week for you but also it's a, a good recommendation in order to know them well if things are consistent uh, that would be better it's a good recommendation we are going to count for that so again let me be back to guitar question and anyone who were who had faced the same problem in google store who have hard time using them let's collect your opinion and we might think or suggest to add another session on google studio or another projects that will need to use studio So that means you all were able to use it easily or? Is that maybe you can show the emojis if you were, uh, if you had comfortably used Google Studio? Okay, Justin, what about the other? Leah? Zero five. Okay, Tahir. Okay, maybe in that case, it's good for Gates here to uh, to talk with or to co communicate with the person that I think he would he had gave that session uh, in Slack. Okay, thank you. We can continue, Emilia. All right, thank you so much, Radiant. Yeah. Uh, so let's continue to oh, the next. Sorry for the background noise. Uh, we can continue. Uh, who's the next? Who want to go next? Let's have one to go next. Or maybe can I call names? Can you go one by one? If you can speak, you can share in the chat box. So let me hope maybe if you're unable, you can start sharing your your progress or maybe your, your your challenge in the chat box but if you are and if you're able to speak then just raise a hand if you're ready
Okay. Uh, maybe we can go one by one then. So then, we have so then we have Tahir, we have Yeshi, Zerufael, we have Milkesa, Leia, Kolajo, Habib. Yeah, and Jibat. Okay, Milkesa, I couldn't, I could not get all required. You create data from the given sites. Is there anyone can help? with where to collect it. Someone can help me in case to collect, where to collect the data. Anyone else maybe with this? Yes, we did. Yeah, like you will be, will be happy to hear from others, but uh, getting the data, I think uh, it's also so easy to, you're, you're not supposed to mainly use those sites, okay? But we put some options. Those are just options. You could have just Googled the data, you could have just get the data from another place. It might be, I, I heard some people having difficulty with using those sites, even if there was a session. But you could have get the, 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 the data from Google by just searching. Explicitly from using those sites, I mean. So also maybe uh, we can hear something from the people who had got the data because most of you had got the data, in my opinion. Kitir, had you faced a problem in getting the data? No, okay, I, I never faced uh, that problem, uh, only that maybe you just need to know how to, na to navigate through the sites well, yeah. Sure. Yeah, there are some just question. Yeah, some data might not be huggle or so the end point is getting the end point of the session. I mean this last week task was uh, not all the tasks. The main point of getting the data was getting the data. I mean not the ways. So you could have uh, searched it or you could have bring the data from anywhere that you wanted so that you can work with them. Uh, there's some data are large size and some are not found in cargo. I think that's what you did say. Yeah, yeah. Regarding the size, okay. Uh, yeah, regarding in cargo, you, you could have just searched it. You could have just searched it from anywhere, but regarding the size, if there it's if there was a problem with the size then it means you have got uh, many of the data right so i mean I, I i'm not sure if there was a problem in in the size so like what was the problem maybe you can open up and having that many i don't think that it would be difficult to download them but uh, was the part uh, cleaning them and uh dealing with them was the difficult part with a large amount of data. I mean, the more data we have, it's good for the analysis and recommendation, but maybe it would have been difficult with the cleaning them and doing the analysis. Was that the hardest part, right? Yeah, yeah. So maybe lately on Friday, where you are to uh, the Friday session, uh, reporting the reporting using generative AI on that session. It might be late since the cleaning the data or some things where a uh, few days, I mean task two, I guess. But you can go back and check for the videos. We've seen some tools and uh, some uh, AI tools and uh, non-AI tools too to be a tool to clean data more easily all at once rather than going through all the rows of the data just to clean all, uh, all the data at once. We've seen some tools using uh, chain generative AI. And I think uh, eight or nine people were on the on the class, on the session. I don't think you were. Uh, I think you will get good information from that. Go and check. It's uh, maximum 25 or 30 minutes video. You can go and check that here. I get you. The more data we have, it's going to be hard to do the analysis manually, OK? So yeah, there are some tools that we have mentioned there and I will recommend you to check for that. Are we good, Tahir? Uh, 
All right, amazing, amazing. Thank you so much, Radiant. Uh, anyone else maybe left behind without sharing or maybe in with a problem taking the question challenge? Let me guess, everything is fine now on your end. All right, so uh, for announcements, let me check if you have announcements so we can wrap up. Uh, okay, uh, I don't think I have announcement from the team. Uh, anything ready yet? Nothing, I have nothing to say. Good luck with this week task too. All right, thank you so much. So guys, um, let's meet in the community building session, which is the following. Uh, other than that, have a good week. It's week eight, so we should have that energy. Only four weeks to finish. So you too. Let's... Yes, Gideon. You too have a great week. All right, bye, bye, guys. Bye.